Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Charlie, and welcome back to the crazy, crazy lunar moon pink treed crazy house prison. I don't know what we're going to call this. I'm going to call it the nut house. I mean, it makes sense to just call it a nut house, right? Uh, we got some lights getting installed in the hallways. Things have calmed down and settled down from their, you know, people. I, I mean, they, they came in here. There was no guards. It makes sense that they would kick off. But uh, we're getting this place locked down. Decided to make this whole place here a brick wall. Because it's, uh, I don't know. It's different. This entire, this entire prison is meant to just be different. Okay. Everything is different. We got solitary doors on both of these sides so that uh, they can move through them as guards. And I'm also going to put one more $8,000. Let's put one more over here, too, so they can get into the yard really quickly. And then I think I want to have window. Makes sense to have a big, large window to overlook the yard there. A big window to overlook the canteen uh, here. And uh, maybe we put another window, big window, uh, maybe a small window, actually, like right over here to just kind of look through there. I don't know. Whatever. We're just looking through it. Okay. With that out of the way, we can start looking at what it's going to take to do security. But we don't have surveillance unlocked yet. We don't have dogs unlocked yet. And dogs is one of our grants. So let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, we, after the armory's done, I'm probably going to grab body armor just to kind of protect our guards a bit more. We haven't had any guards die. I don't think. Morale is still 100%. I don't think any guards have died. Man, what if, what if we can get through this and not have a guard die? <laughs> I know. I'm a joker. I joke too much. We shouldn't joke like this. Of course, guards are going to die. This is prison architect. Uh, especially once we start getting, like, the maximum security crazy people. Speaking of which, we should probably look at planning that, too. Uh, again, up here is where I want the big old crazy center. And eventually, you know, maybe we'll expand it over here. But this is going to be where most other prisoners are. And that's because, you know, they can get to the workshop and they can get to the schools and stuff like that. I'm not entirely sure how our insane asylum part will work regarding education and things like that. Um, but let's just mark off a whole area. Let's say everything... Uh, let's, let's, yeah, let's say everything that is within this border right here is watermarked, earmarked, whatever you want to call it for crazy. And, like, it's it's marking foundation in here, which makes it take a lot longer to plan, too. I don't know how I like that. Uh, but there is this one-click build plans button, and I could have been using that the entire time! <laughs> and I didn't. I, I'm, I feel I feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad. Uh, I don't know if anyone commented about that yet. This is the last recording I'm doing before my Thanksgiving break, so I'll read your comments then. <laughs> but I just saw that and I went, oh my god, why didn't I just click that button? Uh, I'm not going to do it now, though. But everything that's in this little area here, we're going to say this is for, uh, yeah, our crazies, right? Okay. Should probably get to parole. I have one prisoner eligible for it, and early prisoner release is a big uh, money-making method, if you will. Still have to redo my staff room a little bit and my bathroom... Bathroom will be easy, honestly. Just, like, bring it down one and then done. Uh, the laundry, I could extend it down here and uh, maybe put, I don't know, a couple of extra boards down here. Done. Piece of cake. Uh, yard is already in a weird shape. We extended it here, too. And I probably should go ahead and go lunar just to kind of get that to be back the way it was so it doesn't bug me. Also, rooms, yard, extend. Good. We need some, like, weight equipment, too, you know? Weight benches? Like these, that's, that's the thing that they do in the yard. Honestly, guys. Let's do some weight benches in here. Um, maybe some phones as well. A um, couple of extra phones maybe uh, along this wall. Although, I might extend this canteen. This is going to get a little bit small. So, I don't know if this will stay this way. Um, also, I might extend it out just a little bit this way. Just so the word canteen is fully in the room. It bugs me when it's like this. Ard. Where's the Y? You can hardly see it. Uh, that kind of bugs me. But we could put some phones, like, maybe over here. Just a couple. We don't need a whole lot. 
Uh, what else? What else? What else? Okay, security room. We can't build this yet, I don't think. Um, but I can mark it. Right? Uh, office security. Let's go like this. Down like this. And for some reason, they're not fixing this. It's a fence. And it, they said that they... Wait, that's not what I want to do. Hold on. They said that they couldn't get to it. They, the path was blocked. Which didn't make any sense to me. Because you can totally get in there. So... I'm going to say that's probably just a bunch of hullabaloo. You need an office desk, chair, filing cabinet. Uh, and then this is just security office. It's going to have all of the monitoring stuff. Including our phone tap. Phone tap. Need surveillance before I can do that. Right. That's $2,000. I can't really afford that yet. Is it researched directly by security? Probably. So the security guy is currently doing this, then he starts the dogs, and then he can do surveillance. So let's hold off on that for now. But this is like, uh, uh, this is the place where it's going to happen, right? That's the difference. Common room is down here. We don't have any lights. I thought for sure I put lights in here. I guess not. Well, yeah. all right then. We'll put a light uh, there and there to go along with those two. And then we'll put another one there and there, and that takes care of the common room lights. Okay. Phones are still installed there. And all of this is eligible. All this is, like, available for uh, people to walk in. Not this. That's staff only. Uh, not all of this is staff only as well, by the way. If case you didn't know. Uh, and then we've got this area here. We want to lock down the front here in case they get out these doors and they're just home free. So we want to lock these down with gates if we have the money for it, which I hope we do. Door... Barred wall. That's nifty. Might want to try that at some point. But I want the road gates. Road barriers. $10,000. Right. Road gates. I think that's that's probably where we're going to go with for now. Uh, let's see. Probably want to stop at intake. Stop at deliveries. Etc. Etc. And let's have them stop. Well, I don't know where this is getting built yet. That's the problem. Uh, but the gate at the top definitely should happen. So let's, um, maybe we'll stop them right here. Just to be like, hey man, you stop here. Yeah, like right up where this meets. So we can go like that. It's $1,000. Great. And then also, we want the fence, of course, to lock them in on this side. Because there's no sense in them going down the road if they can just walk off the map. Uh, there's that. And then the road gate will also be on this side at the bottom. Like so. And it's going to be kind of difficult to manage that because we would need guards to be the ones opening and closing these gates, right? So that's going to be a little bit of a challenge at the moment with garbage going in and out and some exports here and there with the trees getting cut down. Speaking of which, I want to cut down a couple more. In preparation for future expansions, uh, we should probably cut down all of these. So let's just kind of get all of these dismantled. And then I think I'll just prop that, the, the road gate, I'll prop them open for now and just, just kind of keep them. Honestly, if I'm going to prop them open, I might as well not even build them right at the moment. Well, no, it's still good to build them, right? Because then you can just, it's really easy to just for me to click them and close them. But if I say, okay, we need it now and it's not built yet, yeah, that's not good have this in storage anyway. Let's just put it right there. Does that mean I have to move this light? I think that means I have to move the light. Let's dismantle that light. We'll bring it down like one tile in or something. Okay. Anyone trapped? Sometimes that happens. And then they'll complain and be like, I... Oh, oh. See? Complaining. One staff have serious complaints. What is your complaint? You have nothing to complain about. Nothing. Okay, there it is. That's weird. Uh, maybe just rest in general? Is it uh, is it advantageous for me to maybe include a few more sofas? Hmm. Leather chairs. Oh my god. So good, dude. So good. We should push some leather chairs in here. $400. That's a lot for a chair. We're going to do it. Uh, a couple of wide sofas. We could just go, you know, like, let's put them back to back. Why not? Put them back to back because that makes total sense. If you wanted to relax but didn't want to watch television, 
It doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's in the television sphere of influence. That was the entire point. Uh, let's come back like this and just go like that. Probably want to shift these benches and stuff around. But we'll leave it there for now. It's kind of a tight fit with the bench, but we'll leave it there for now. Because it's right within the television sphere of influence, right? Sphere of influence? Rectangle of influence. Yeah. Uh, we're getting a little bit low on money. I wonder if we're if it's just the spending on the buys right now, or if it's like legitimately we're having negative cash flow. We'll have to see. So far, I'm importing, uh, or sorry, we're exporting wood now. This is going to help us with this too. Also, this is kind of bugging me. Why does this keep happening? Like, stop taking away the lunar floor, please. Okay. I like the lunar floor. Can we keep it? Hmm? Can we? Uh, maybe we let staff in here. It's kind of a risk because it's, it's like providing a door. But uh, I think maybe we let staff enter and exit through this way if they want to. We'll see. Maybe that'll end up being a security flaw. Also, they have extra escape chances now, so they could just hop the fence if they want to. And there's multiple fences. I don't have barbed wire because it's so expensive to have barbed wire yet. But I'm hoping with the medium security uh, nature, I guess, of these prisoners that I won't have too much of a problem with it. Um, intake happens in a little bit. Probably could get more of these cells built in. Of course, the more cells we build, the more like prisoners we have, uh, the danger, more dangerous this becomes. And um, since we're still on the food program thing, why does this... Hold on. Why is this not giving me... Progress on this. Serve a single low-quality... Low quantity, low variety meal for two days. One eat period. I should have 50% on this right now, right? Low and low. I should have 50% on this. Why don't I? Maybe it has to do with... Maybe it needs to be exactly 24 hours from the time that I, that I switched it. So it would switch at like, it would give me the progress at like five o'clock or something like that. I don't know why it's not working. Either way though, I'm gonna need, oh, I'm like, oh my God, I'm already in debt. I forgot that I was in debt. Oh, All right, we need, did that hit my credit? No, okay, good. Yeah, <laughs> I need to get another load. Uh, yeah, that needs to happen. $12,000. Let's get a little bit higher capacity so we can take more prisoners, get paid more money, and hopefully pay off this debt. Um, let's go this row. We'll take... Uh, you know what? I probably should just do the clone tool from now on. And, uh, you know, we will from now on do the clone tool. But for this row, uh, we're, gonna, we're going all full manual for the time being here. Uh, drain... One, two, three, four, five, and then the shower head, which I don't actually think is installed in all these cells right now. I don't think I did that. Where in the world is it? Shower. Like, yeah, come on now. Maybe their needs, is there, maybe it's their hygiene needs because I never installed the shower heads. It won't let me install it here. Like, I don't understand what's going on with some of these tiles. Oh well. Maybe it's just too dangerous there for now. Or the gang member owns that cell, so I'm not allowed to change it. Maybe that's what it is. Is that a gang member cell? It is? Well, wait, it's this one. There was two that I couldn't change, right? Is this the third one over is a gang cell? So. If the third one over is a gang cell, is that the one? Is that the only one I can't install it in? Shower head, shower head, shower head. This is the one I can't do. Yeah. The gang cell. Okay, you know what we can do then? Um, we can de We can make this not a cell anymore. We can say that this isn't this. Well, I can't do that either because the gang. So if a gang member is staying in the cell, I can't modify it. 
Huh. I never knew that. Like, I knew the, the whole gang territory. They own this common room. They own this yard. I have known that, but I didn't know about the cell. Like, it goes down to the cell level, right? Down to the cellular level, if you will. That's interesting. Okay. Well. Then you're not getting... You're not getting a shower in your cell, then. Sucks to be you. You're gonna have to walk all the way over to the holding cell to take showers. That's gonna be your fate. And the next time you act up, and you get put into solitary, then I'll fix your cell then. Maybe. Or maybe I'll just send you to solitary now. Just for the hell of it. Be like, hey, how do you like solitary for six hours? How's that, how's that sound for you? Now, if you don't want, if you don't want to change the cell, then that's just going to be the way it is for you. Um, let's grab clone tool, right? We want to go clone tool, which is quick build. Clone this right here and place it. I like how it shows me that preview of what it will look like, too. So good. Good stuff, guys. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then we just... Honestly, I could have just done the cell door, too. But I don't want to install the doors until like everything is properly set up for it, you know? Uh, and then we have the logistics of water flow, which looks good. We're not giving them hot water. Not yet. I might give them hot water in the future. We'll see. It's something I'm considering, okay? And, and But until we get intake, which is, you know, very, very soon. 20 more people coming in now. I kind of need, honestly, any more guards, I think. Um, let's go with... Uh, I want to hire them at the road as much as possible because I don't think it's fair to put them in the prison. Let's hire five more guards. And um, as far as deployment goes, we have two in here at all times. That's good. We're going to want one staffed in here at all times. Two in the yard, two in the canteen at all times. And let's have one, two staffed here. Yeah. And then um, that's probably okay. Just for those, that deployment. 16 staff are happy with their job. 16 of them. We have 19 guards, you know? So everyone except the three I just hired. I just hired five, which means two of them that I just hired are, are already happy. Isn't that nice? Huh? Isn't that nice? I should probably get body armor, but I don't have the money for it. Let's get body armor as soon as we are no longer in debt. Speaking of which, we just got intake. Let's decrease our debt. That's a lot more than I wanted to decrease. Brick. Well, I, I think we can survive. Like the the, in, it's a lot more than I wanted to to decrease it by. I wish it would let you do it in your own increments, instead of having to take like, well, in that case, half, right? When you decrease your loan amount, you're decreasing it by the amount you borrowed per loan. So, like basically, if I if I hit the button three times, every time I go to pay it off, it's gonna. Like, I only have to hit it three times to pay it off. You can't pay off a portion of your debt that is smaller than one instance of the portion you borrowed, I guess. Or something like that, I think. It's kind of nuts. These cells are done. Uh, well, close. So, objects, cell doors is what we want. Go jail door. One, two, three, four. We'll wait for this one to finish to do that one. Uh, and then as they get on with this... I believe they've already paid for it. I believe I've already paid for it. Failed toilet. Why? You know what? I don't I don't care. You're going to I think this goes in, right? It says it's indoors, but they're not building it yet. Is it because are they just too busy? Oh, it's oh My god, look at this. This is this is chaos. This is just chaos. <laughs> I think I need a bigger door for here, you know? Running around outside. Look at that. Look at him. just He's so fast. Look at that. Exercise. He's freaking sprinting is what he's doing. You got some weights they can lift now. Telephones they can call home with. Get contraband brought in. But we don't have... We have 12 families waiting to visit. We don't have a visitation room anymore. 
And we might put Visitation over here. As much as I like this wide open area, it's kind of a waste. I've, I've built things too close, so I think I might put it right here, you know? Have Visitation be something like, I don't know. Something like, it can't be a perfect square, right? So we'll put it down like this. Yeah. And then uh, this will get extended out like one tile or something. <laughs> Just so it's out. Like this waiting room will be a little bit bigger than the rest of the rooms. And then, you know, it will come in like that for this. And then we'll come in like that for this. That solves it. <laughs> Oh, I'm so evil. I feel terrible. Nah, I really don't. <laughs> it's, it's fun. It's fun, all right? Just do something different. Make it fun for yourself. If it's not fun for others, it's at least fun for yourself. So that takes care of parole, actually, right there. And this will be visitation, and we'll, we'll just do that. Actually, you know, honestly, I probably should bring this back in, because I want to put a row of trees here. So why don't we just... Yeah, I wanted to put a row of trees here. Why don't we do it like this instead? And then we come, we can bring this back. I want to bring this back, actually. So but to be about like this instead. Yeah, and then this is not foundation anymore. So it'd be about like that. Yeah. Maybe go one more in just to make it more pronounced. That. All right. That'll be visitation. This will be... Yeah, we're good. We're good here. Um, the amount of money I have available... Are, is it, It's growing, right? Our money is going up, right? Oh, it's because of exports. Yeah, exports is going good. Uh, they're cutting down all those trees for anticipation of expanding up here, which um, I can probably do a little bit more of that. I don't consider this cheating at all. The the, the map has generated these trees. It's, it's my land. I can cut them down. Uh, but if I'm going to, like, plant a forestry so that I can continuously do that, that, like, let's have the whole map be that. I've seen, you know, obviously there's there's YouTubers that do that, right? And it's if they do it in fun, hey, look how broken this game can get. I get that. Um, but for, like, something where I'm, like, you know, legitimately trying to play the game kind of thing... Uh, having a playthrough of a prison build, right? For that kind of stuff. Um, are they actually building this? Okay, it, it, yeah, they are. For that kind of stuff, I'd rather not uh, cheat, I guess you could say. I'd rather not do that. I consider it kind of cheating. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Now it's going to be closed in with a wall. And there's no showers in here. So let's make sure we cue that before we continue. And can I put a shower in the cell yet? No. Not yet. It's still owned by a gang member. Uh, having having a metal detector right here might not be such a bad idea. Because they may not get picked up for this. If there's a whole bunch of people moving through here, right? If you're not familiar with how these work, right? Metal detectors, they, they'll pick up anything that's metal walking through, right? That little blip that you see. Um, but... As soon as it goes off, that big red light that flashes, while the red light is on, it's not detecting things anymore. So you might have people walking through. If there's a big crowd moving through, and let's say, um, this is a good example. Let's say it, yard time's over with and they're moving through here, right? If one person trips it, everyone else that's moving through this is no longer getting, like, scanned. So if there's like five or six people that have like knives or forks or whatever, only one of them is going to get caught. The rest of them are going to get through. So for this case, if people have their whatever they have in the kitchen and the canteen, I have double here so I can get two if they're side by side. But if there's more than that, they're just going to get through. And that's how security works in this game. So having more areas where you can check them is probably a good idea. Because if they manage to get through here during the red light going off and the red lights on for quite a bit i think it's like i want to say it's like three or four seconds uh i don't know how long it is though we can probably look at it later but having more metal detectors is going to help you catch more things even if it's like well they can't get through here without the metal detector they can if someone else before them you know has has tripped it right so uh for that reason i think i am going to pop two here 
just as they're moving through this. Um, and then, because this is a big area for them to get through, I'm also going to pop two extra ones here. Uh, I know that's a lot of money, and also we'll need a lot of power for that. So I'm going to pop an additional capacitor on this. And that spends a lot of money. So let's see... Whoa, hey there, Mr. E key, Q key. Calm down. I want to press one and three, and I'm pressing Q and E. Uh, this doesn't have... Uh, I did it again. This doesn't have a cell door there. Okay, let's stop spending money for a second. We are still in debt. We are still having to pay off our loan, and we do not want our bank balance to go negative while this is still positive. Then we start hitting our credit. We have an 8.7 credit rating right now. That's a good thing. What's that? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this little bar above his head? What? What is that? I've never seen that before. Agitated. Is this like a progress bar to when he starts kicking off? I've never seen that before. Wait, what is he? Oh, has he gone critically in... Has he gone clinically insane? He has! Criminally insane! Depressed, hyperactive. So this is a new mechanic. That's why I've never seen it before. Oh, uh, he turned criminally insane. Depressed, hyperactive. This prisoner moves much slower when feeling suppressed and untreated. Hyperactive. Moves around much faster when feeling suppressed and untreated. Uh, what? Make sure this inmate has access to a psychiatrist's psychiatric consultation session and a padded cell to help calm them. The prisoner moved much slower when feeling suppressed and untreated. The prisoner moves around much faster when feeling suppressed and untreated. I don't know why these two things are possible on the same prisoner. I suppose they cancel out. <laughs> I don't know. 50% chance of reoffending. Oh my god, I have to have a padded cell. Ah, uh, like, come on. Uh, okay, well, I mean, we gotta do it. So I think maybe we start here. I don't have a whole dedicated section for it yet. So I'm gonna have to kick you out of this cell. I'm gonna have to kick you out of the cell. So you're out of here, and this is a padded cell now. It just becomes padded. Yeah, see how the, the texture has changed? This is like a solid wall like this, but all of a sudden this has now become a padded cell. Right? So he should be going to his own padded cell. Warren McKenzie. And he should be going here. And you see, I think he should. I don't know. There's only one padded cell in the prison, so I think he goes there. Yeah. Okay, he's in his padded cell. He's now considered unstable. Oh, my God. <laughs> he's gonna blow. Uh, I need more money. <laughs> I need more money. Uh, let's get staff. I need a psychiatrist. A $1,000, 200 a day, and he probably requires an office. An advanced staff member who provides our criminally insane inmates with regular consultation. We have a lot of criminally insane prisoners. We should hire a few psychiatrists to support them all. Make sure each one has an office. Okay, so we need a psychiatrist's office. Oh, dear. I, I feel like this is, a, this is the start of our psych ward, right? So, um, maybe we move this solitary area and put, and put offices here. I mean... I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> right? Ah, uh, huh. White, let's, let's do this. Let's bring um, a new area right here. I need an area big enough for that. How big is this? Uh, this is uh, 15 by 6. So if I'm doing a 15 by 6 area, let's say here, it has to be at least this big, right? Yeah, 
At least this big. So we're going to put it here instead. 15 by 6. Uh, we can move it up one. So if that's the case, we're going to want this, yeah, extended at least this far. And probably down even more because we're going to want more solitary cells. So let's lay like two 15 by 16 areas. 15 by 6 areas like this. That could be solitary wing. Right? Actually, why don't we just... Well, we'll just have this be the walls. Yeah. But this makes this a square, so we can't do that. So, uh, it's going to have to be extended. And the walls will go out to, to all the way to here. Why not? I want a walkway here outside, though. Because we're going to have to... Like, security's going to want to move around and get around this outside. So, let's do it here. Yeah. We'll do it there. Do I have enough money for this? White walls like this. Yes. I do. Let's do it. Oh my god. This is gonna happen, guys. We gotta we gotta we gotta move solitary down here, right? Um This is a prisoner traffic, right? So uh, this isn't where tra prisoners would want to move freely, though. Let's do a jail a jail door here to move into solitary. With get guards are going to do this, right? Uh, so then we want to demolish this as soon as we have this place built. We we'll want to demolish it, and then also it looks like I'm going to need a door here just for construction purposes. Oh, that's good. I didn't want to right click, but cool. At least I got refunded for it. Um, white walls come up like this. Thank you. And then we will want a door. And we'll put that door for construction purposes here. And that should hopefully get them working on it. Yep. Okay. Holy cow, guys. A criminally insane guy already. We have a padded cell here. This is going to be our padded cell wing. Everyone else is going to have to get the hell out of here. Uh, wow. Okay. Well, um, huh. Is he... Okay, he's calming. No, never mind. I thought he was calming down. Turns out, not so much. Ooh, he's unstable. He doesn't have any traits that make him extra violent or anything, but he's... He's going nuts. He's gonna... He's gonna freak out. I need orderlies. <gasps> I need orderlies. Because I don't want to, like... Oh, no. That's a thousand dollars. Well, he's gonna have to deal with regular guards for the time being. Because I don't have the money for this. And they have extra... Oh, look at this. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go on. Criminally Insane is white. I still am not getting credit for this, though. Which is stupid, because, like, their food need is going up. Right? Hygiene's a big problem. But this is, this is totally there. Low and low. Plus, the regime has one... Maybe it's... Maybe it's too long of a period. Maybe this needs to be... Maybe this needs to be two hours only. I don't know. Or maybe it needs to be a full day. Like, because it wasn't a full day, I switched it in the middle of a day. So, like, this would be a full day. So maybe after this ticks over to the next day, we'll see this go 50%. I really hope so, because I can't afford to, like, give that up. Well, maybe I can. Because this doesn't give me... There was no... Um, there was no upfront payment for this. Right? So maybe I can. But once I get paid that 15k, then I can start doing tool cleanup, crackdown on drugs. I can start doing that stuff. And uh, that grant money... No. Well, yeah, this is easy to do, though. Tool cleanup and stuff is very easy to do. We should absolutely uh, do a shakedown tonight. We want to see if anybody has anything, like, right now. Find all the contraband, please. Oh, good! He's, he's, he's in withdrawal. That's, that's... Okay, he's high. Wait, what? He's high. He's, he's, he's fine. He's very calm now. 
Oh my god, I don't know what to do. He doesn't know what to do for his free time either. He's just kind of like, what do I do? What do I do? I'm gonna go talk to this guy. Hey, man. Hey, hey, Scotty. Hey, Scotty. Hey, hey, man. Hey, have you ever thought about rainbows? Dude, have you ever thought about them? Like, really thought about them? Where do they come from? What about... Have you, you ever seen a... When there's two of them? I, I have a special name for when there's two. I call it a double rainbow. Yeah, I, all the way. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Oh my gosh. I'm excited about this, though. I mean, it's not a maximum security. I mean, he's a, he's a medium security. He's gone insane, but maybe his condition will change when he's paired up with others. Uh, I don't think I want to open this just yet. This is pretty open. We'll open the door manually, but I don't want to, like, leave it open right now. Not until this is totally built. Because it's too wide open right now. And I think that's good. This is a regular door. Let's dismantle that. And then also, we want to lock this down with a staff gate for the time being. So staff can move through it. And then also, we will have a... I think just a regular jail door here is fine. Like, if they've gotten through these solitary doors, then it's... Like, this is already a staff area. It's probably not necessary to spend $500 on this door. I think just a regular roll. Of course, the jail door is, like, open to the element, so that makes it, like, colder in here, right? I don't know. I feel like security rooms should have solitary doors everywhere. That's just... I think that's my feeling on it. All the monitoring stations and doors should probably be the big doors. So I'll put another door there. Now we're getting rid of this door, and we'll replace it with a wall. So now what we want to do... If we have enough money for it, I hope one five hundred. Oh dear! You know what? Let's let's get that door back. Actually, um, five hundred, one thousand, uh, two thousand, three thousand. Oh boy! Oh boy! Uh, cloning tool, quick build, clone. So all of this. Please build all of this. Right here. $2,300 per tap. You know what? Just one just one tap for now. <laughs> I'm going to be a cheap ass. Just one tap for now, please. Do we search all the cells? Good. You can go back to sleep now. Hello, Duncan. Hello, Duncan. Duncan Gordon. He has a son that's age 29. How old was Scott? He was like his lower 30s, right? So this could be like, what timeline is this? Is this, is this the prison before the Scott Gordon incident? Is this his daddy? He's got an ex-wife trafficking and kidnapping. He's got two da three daughters that are all the same age. Uh, triplets. He couldn't take it anymore. This is why it's an ex-wife. <laughs> they got he left. He left. Alright, daddy left him. This is this is Scott, right? And daddy left him. That's why he turned out the way he was. And he was driven mad and insane, and he was he was going nuts because of three uh triplet sisters. Who knew? Right? Who knew that was the case, right? His records from before, though, they didn't say anything about having these many sisters, this many sisters, so I don't know. But Yeah, rape, violent disorder, assault, rioting, kidnapping and trafficking, voyeurism. Maybe he's, maybe these aren't really his daughters. I don't know. There's, there's some story behind this, and we should figure it out. Why don't you leave your theory on Duncan Gordon. Maybe it's just another guy named Gordon. Maybe he's not connected at all. But why don't you leave your theory in the comments down below of this video. And we'll continue the rest of this tomorrow. Uh, for tomorrow's video, hopefully. Uh, hopefully there's another video tomorrow. We'll see. This is the last time I'm recording one for before I go off to Thanksgiving. So hopefully I have one for tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. 
it means a bunch to me. I appreciate it. Be sure to give a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I don't know, maybe consider visiting the description. There's some links down there. You can see a game store. You can buy some stuff there. Helps me out. There's a Patreon campaign. I'm trying to go full time. So any help, any support is appreciated. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.